Just now, Mary Lou. Now she's saying now. Yes. <laughs> How are you? Pretty good. How are you? Welcome to the program. Thank you so good much. Good to have you here. I have to tell you something. What? It's my first morning show live in English I've ever... Because you're mostly a French artist, yeah. right? Yeah, it's my first English record. First English record, and this yeah. is the first time you've appeared on an English morning show? Yeah. I'm honored. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> thank you very much. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Um, how long have you been doing recordings in French? Because where are you from, Montreal? Yeah, from... I started at 11 years old, and I was lucky enough to meet with great, talented artists such as Celine, who's a French... Uh, well, aren't you connected? Your management is connected with Celine Dion, isn't that true? Yeah. Yeah. So I have good contacts, yeah. maybe. <laughs> well, that's great. That's great. Yeah. So you started recording French pop music? Yeah. I wasn't a writer. I was I was just singing songs that people would write for me. I was really young. And right. uh, at 18 years old, I had never written a song or never really spoken in English. But I is want, that right? Yeah. But I wanted to, to sing in the language my idols sing in. So right. I, I, I learned English. I went to LA in, in Toronto. And so you really had to learn the language as well as. Yes, and I fell in love with it. So, really? Yes. So well, that's nice to hear. Why? I, because you don't hear that that often. I think that's that's nice. Yeah. But um, was it difficult? So then you started writing songs? Yes, I started writing and I fell but in you, love with this as well. Right. And Because you didn't write songs before? No. Wow. That's, yeah, so uh, it was like a therapy for, yeah. for the last three years, and, and so I have 60 Thoughts a Minute. And I'm so proud. It's my life, and it's so honest. We, we so... love the name of the uh, the song and the name of the uh, the record, by the way. You do? 60 Thoughts a Minute is funny. Yeah, I was thinking about the album all the time, so I thought it was cute to to name it that way. Now, you've got, uh, you got a, there's a, a hit song in there somewhere, right? Uh, Which the one first is on the radio right now? Wake me up on Friday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. You like that one? I listened to that to yesterday. D you didn't I, listen to the whole album? I did the whole thing. That's what I mean. I listened to it yesterday, <laughs> driving around, and it sounds great. You sound fantastic. Thank you. Yeah. I'm surrounded with uh, great musicians and, and great co-writers. It's. Yeah. Um, so was it difficult to do an English album, or did you? Well, of course. Because you, you speak great English now. Thank you, mm. but still, you know, I'm nervous right now, so my English is gonna, yeah. But uh, it was great. It was a great experience, and and um, yeah, I'm, I'm really proud. Yeah. I, I look forward to, to, to write just more. <laughs> What's been the reaction to uh, your your album so far? Uh, great. Getting good People, reviews, all yes, that. Yes, yes, absolutely. But I have a, a French fan basis. But right. so they were they were surprised to see that I that I was coming with an English album. And were they okay with that? Absolutely. Yeah. I was afraid, but That's nice. Yeah. This album came out uh, end of April, just at the end of April, right? Exactly. You're Wake right. Me Up on Friday was number three in Quebec. Yeah. Province of Quebec. Yeah. That's good even though it's an English tune. I know. Did you do a French version of this? I uh, know. It's gonna just... stick with the English. So what do you do now? Do you go back and forth? I will start doing a lot of promotions in, in Canada, yeah. and, um, a lot of, of shows, and uh, you can go on my website, yeah. uh, marilumusic.com. All yeah. the dates and all the details will be on the website, so so I can meet the public and have a, a lot of fun. Did you actually meet Linda Ronstadt? No, I didn't. You did not. How about Aaron Neville? But I work with people who yeah. know them. Yeah. Okay, good. Good. Uh, there's a lot of great names uh, in the music business that you're working with, either directly or indirectly, and that's that that's awesome. great news for you, right? Because it's one thing to, to launch your career, I think, but you have to have the right people, the right connections, them. you know, to make it work. And I think that's important, especially for you're like you're 21 years old, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So and and yeah, I, we, we mixed the album. Tom Lord Algy mixed the album, yeah. and uh, when I went to him, to his studio, I saw the names of. Pink and and Blink One Eighty Two on on yeah. his computer, and I was like, oh my god, I can't believe I'm with him right now. Oh, he probably has Pink's phone number or something, you know. Or Lady, I know Lady Gaga texted him in front of me. I was, why are you <laughs> laughing? <laughs> That's funny. Okay, you're gonna you're gonna play us a tune then. <laughs> Yay! All right, we'll stick around. We'll uh, we'll have some music for you. Uh, by the way, this is uh, in record stores. It's called Mary Lou. Sixty thoughts a minute. You can buy it on iTunes too. And I'm on Twitter. Sorry. Oh, so what are you on Twitter? I'm gonna tweet you. Tweet me. Please. What is your what's your Twitter handle? Uh, Mary Lou Biz B I Z M A R I B uh, M A R I L O U B I Z. 